This is John Paul Rice. Some people call me. Today, talking about William Shatner and how he's getting trolled by social justice warriors or the like on Twitter. And yes, this is Data Race's account again. You know what? I'm going to just like leave him in my link permanently down below because like he's got such valuable stuff. Check him out. Now, let's get into it, and before I start, I'm going to say, I'm actually a pretty damn big Star Trek fan. I haven't seen the new TV shows, and it's just because I started watching more Doomcock that I started getting more into Star Trek actively, and I realized that the William Shatner now, I mean, as opposed to the younger version of himself, is uh, pretty cool. Anyway, let's get into it. So here we see it here, Star Trek SJWs are attacking William Shatner again, trying to stir up a fake outrage mob. They're trolling him with bizarre photoshops, then play the victim card and call Shatner a bigot after he blocks them. Cap Kirk is having none of it. So he says, Is that what you were trying to make of this? Such immature types. So you can scream Shatner blocks gays to incite fake hate. See? Yeah, he knows what's up, man. I've been reading more of his tweets and just, you know, thinking about more of what he says and he seems to be on our side and yes thank you Shatner I am here to defend you captain so he says here apparently they are friends of BTS troll I blocked so I guess that Annie Darling made it about her sexuality instead of her harassment always be a victim it will get you nowhere <laughs> yes thank you Shatner look at that guys give this guy a follow classic sci-fi hero and common sense dude this guy james says just block all the ankle biters so someone i blocked for being a troll made it about their sexuality so that i got you all frazzled up to attack the fact that you just blindly believe them is so sad so this guy says i'm gay as well do it for the gay rights yeah i mean jesus christ what the hell about sexuality would make william shatner block someone you really think someone's going to be like, you're gay, you're lesbian, you're straight, you're transgender. I'm going to block you because of that. How many people in the world do you think are actually racist, homophobic, things like that? There's a very small amount and people act like they're everywhere, like it's half the population or something. Yes, yeah, some people are. It's probably somewhere around the 10% line or something like that. But probably most people are just cool and out to be friendly and just kind of judge you for who you are. Well, unless you are actually one of these people I'm talking about, social justice warriors, and they're actually creating a world that they're scared of. They're creating a world where now people are judging on skin color, sexuality, things like that. Because we've got to be so careful about what we say around these people. Here's some of the photoshops. I'm not sure if you guys could see that. I think so. This is about as big as I could get it for right now. So it has William Chatner with a clown wig on saying, when I see faggot, I floor it. Just reading the meme, guys. I didn't, I didn't write that myself. This says, yeah, we gay keep scrolling. Yeah, we gay keep scrolling. Shut up, Shatner. Ha ha. What classless freaks. What classless freaks. If you're going to attack somebody as a person, okay, at least keep away from the classic sci-fi masterpiece they were involved in for the last 60 years or something like at least keep that out of it i'm not saying you know attack him anyway but if you are dumb enough to make an attack on him then you know at least keep the freaking star trek out of it so we got here mecha random i'm sure a lot of you guys know her she says motherfuckers dark side mecha coming soon give you a heart you got 50 now i'll also give you a retweet i guess why not chief eddie Cool guy, he stopped by here. Says get a mecha. Alright. Echo base. Data racer himself. I don't think they even know what they're doing. SJWs will argue semantics with each other over what gender sexuality combinations each other use. 36. Retweet. Barry says that pisses me off. Me too. Geeks and gamers know their formula. Yep. Sees that a person is happy, spreads lies about that person, gets called out for their lies, locks account, plays the victim. Yes. Heart, of course. And I agree with that. Miss Mito Kitty says those who make their sexuality their identity are insufferable. That's true. 
So here's Shatner's actual thread here where Dad Eraser got it from. And yeah, it looks like there's just some crazy photoshops here. I just don't get who would sit there and do that. And I have to take a guess at someone who doesn't really know what Star Trek is very much, doesn't respect it in the same way they don't actually respect Star Wars, haven't seen the old ones, they probably just look at Shatner as some guy when he was involved in something that they'll never ever be able to ever touch in their lifetime as far as creativity or heart or influence actually. Star Trek influenced like real inventions, cell phones, laptops, stuff like that. So it's just really legendary. And these people are just arguing with this guy about sexuality stuff. Anyway, that's all I got on this one, and I just wanted to come here to say I don't make Star Trek videos. I've made one. I don't really know the interest level here on this channel. I can't split up the channel too much. I try to stick with I try to stick with certain themes, but yeah, who knows? You guys, if you're listening up to this point, let me know if you like Star Trek. Let me know if you want to see some Star Trek stuff. And I guess if you're a fan of Doomcock and Mecha, you might like Star Trek. So yeah, now I'm rambling. That means it's time to wrap it up. Click the subscribe button or smash it or press it. Whatever you want to do with it, subscribe and I will see you next time.